Alla, Burnley and Kaushal have traveled to Frankfurt from all over Europe to take part in a three-day course where they hope to gain control of their stutters. They'll be joined by returning graduate Beata, who's coming back to continue working on her speech. For Burnley, Alla and Kaushal, communication is a constant battle every day. And they're not alone. Stuttering or stammering affects 1% of the world's population. But for these three students, they may have finally found a way to control their speech. They've joined an intensive course called the Maguire Program. Over the next three days, they'll face the biggest challenge of their lives. Building up to the ultimate test on Saturday, where they will speak publicly on the busiest street in Frankfurt. It's Wednesday evening and registration day. Course director Emmett O'Connell introduces the new students to the program. We are people who stutter. Everybody involved in the McGuire program is a person who stutters. And I know it works because I'm a prime example of it working. Our goal is for you to become an articulate, eloquent speaker. You know, this is a commitment. It's hard work. You're afraid to be exposed. You're afraid of being ridiculed, of being laughed at, but it's worth it. I found it harder stuttering. I found it harder struggling. You guys have a choice now. We all have a choice to continue stuttering out of control or to actively do something about it. By the end of this course, as in Saturday evening, you will be feeling really good. It's day one on the Maguire program and the first of three challenging days ahead. Coaches and graduates of the course have come from all over the world to refresh their speaking technique. Physical Thursday. This is where the new students are going to be learning the new speaking techniques. The first task of the day is that students must completely relearn how to breathe. So you're going to wrap your thumb just around. The students wear a special belt around their ribs to help them breathe from their diaphragm. Okay. So what the belt is doing, it's just making sure that you feel your rib cage moving outwards and upwards. Breathe. We're introducing the basis of the Maguire program. What's happening now is we're introducing sound, not even words, just sound, so we can articulate these words and sounds. So we're going to introduce the sounds. Tonight, the students will be challenged to use their new techniques to say their name to the room for the first time without stammering. Before I joined the course, my stutter was really, really bad. Um, in, um, um, uh, I was so sad, humiliated, ashamed.
thought, why me? Why can't I say my name? Everyone can say this. But I couldn't. The biggest challenge that people who stutter face is saying their own name. It's the one thing that they can't easily change. I only really ran into trouble with my stutter when I had to say my name, introduce myself to people. Sometimes it would come out as eh, eh, and they go, Ed, pleased to meet you. And I'd be delighted at that response because I go, okay, at least they didn't know that I stuttered. In that moment, it was good, but later on, I'd be gone, why can't I just say my name? I didn't want to be known as Ed. It's Thursday evening, and the new students face their most difficult task so far, saying their names. At times I would change my name if I could, making appointments or leaving my dry cleaning in, just to make life a little bit easier. There's one thing that a person who stutters cannot avoid, and that's saying their name. I couldn't do it. It was so frustrating to not be able to say something as simple as your name. Yeah, excellent. So we're going to get the new students to stand up and say your full name. OK, so one at a time, whoever would like to go first. Yeah, so you'd like to stand up. You can stand behind your seat. So hands down by your side, nice and relaxed. Don't forget the breath. Get yourself ready. Make it full. Ala al balki. Excellent. Well done. Burnley Newbu. Yes. It's keeping eye contact. Eye contact helps us focus on our technique. And a smile. Good, that was a good release. I think we just need to be more assertive and let people hear. Well done. They've achieved so much in just one day. But tomorrow will bring new challenges. Day two on the Maguire program is Psychological Friday. We deal with the psychological aspects of stuttering and a person who stutters. It's Friday morning and another early start for the students. They've spent their lives trying to hide their stutters, but today they must learn to take the opposite approach and overcome their fear by being open about it. We are showing our listener that we're still people who stutter who are trying their best to become an eloquent speaker. I just couldn't say what I wanted to say and I couldn't speak without that constant fear and panic of people finding out that I suttered. I was hiding it so much, even from my younger brother, my parents, friends, really close friends that I've known for years wouldn't have seen the real version of me. At one point, I really didn't like going to social stuff anymore. I tried to avoid a lot of stuff. And for me, that was the point when I said, okay, I'm just not happy anymore. I would adapt my speech from time to time to hide and mask how severe it was. So it was like a really negative spiral and yeah, the fear and shame just grew. And I think for me, that's when my self-hatred really started because I felt like, well, it's my own fault. I didn't like it and I thought my friends wouldn't like it and possibly that they would reject me as a result of not being perfect. It's Friday evening. For the new students, today has been all about facing their fears. And one of their biggest fears is having to make a telephone call.
How shall Thota speaking? Ala al balki hello. So, how have you been doing this evening? Hello, Denise. I am well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Thank you too. Bye bye. How was it? Well done. Get a rest. Yeah, because of the breathing. We take a break. Yeah. Now this is where the real challenge sets in. This is where it's the new student's turn to contact 100 strangers on the streets of Frankfurt. Today, the new students face the challenge of a lifetime. They must speak to 100 complete strangers before tackling their biggest fear, public speaking. Before Ala makes his first contact, Beata, his coach, shows him how it's done. And then it's his turn. Hello, Entschuldigung. Hello, Entschuldigung. Hello, Entschuldigung. Ich muss zu die AK zuerst gehen, dann wieder zu Alta Uber gehen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am not a tourist. I am not here. Okay. Thank you. You have to come to me and go to the bank course. Good. And she has asked me some... Well done. So here we are. This is what it's all been building up to. Public speaking is the number one fear of everybody in the world. I did my public speaking in Grafton Street in Dublin and I was terrified. It was a mixture of fear and excitement and it was the first time in my life that I ever felt that way in relation to speaking. My name? My name is Bernie Nyobo. Kaushal Dota is my name. Yes, we stutter. But no, we are not afraid to speak. My name is Kaushal Dota. Thank you. you. Thank you for listening. What I'm doing now is beyond these dreams. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can now accept myself for who I am. This program has changed not only my life, but my family and friends' life. <laughs> Emmett O'Connell is my name, and I have the best job in the world. Beate Köhler is my name. Pauli Nyobu is my name. Al Albelki is my name. Kaushal Thota is my name. <laughs> 